YouTube. It's Becky with the Dorky Thrifters. I got another pair of eyeglasses to show you. These are a men's metal frame eyeglasses. They are in excellent condition. Um, the name brand on them is Ducks Unlimited Lincoln. They even have the original nose pieces with a little duck head on them. These I bought at a thrift store for $2 and they sold on eBay today for $45. So it's a great sale. This little um, hotel directory came out of a storage unit. I found a bunch of little things like this, similar to this, and I listed a bunch of them last night. Um, and this one sold for $30 already. Um, it's just an old hotel pamphlet. Um, pretty cool. So, $30. Okay, today we sold this bowling ball. It's a vintage Mickey Mouse bowling ball. It's a Brunswick. It's got the Brunswick logo right there. There you go. Okay, so this bowling ball, go back to the Mickey Mouse picture now, we found in a storage unit, and I've had it listed on eBay for about six months now, and people kept messaging me and telling me that the shipping was too expensive. So I checked it, and it was listed perfectly at 10 pounds, it's a 10 pound ball, and in the end, the person ended up paying eight sixty nine for shipping. They purchased the ball for... $25 plus $8.69 shipping and shipping cost me $8.94. So I'm really not sure what everybody was complaining about, but at least it finally sold and I'm happy. This is a very pretty plastic letter organizer with a key hook. And it is made by, um, there it is. Fesco, made in the USA, vintage, pretty neat. I sold that for, let's see, this one sold for $24.95 plus shipping, and I paid $2 for this at the thrift store. This is a pair of um, um, scuba fins, Sherwood, pretty nice, they've got nice big buckles on both sides and they come with the bag. These sold for $29.95 plus shipping. Okay, here's another pair of eyeglasses that sold. These are Zinnies. Um, you can see the name brand better there. They come with a matching case. The case I bought at a thrift store for, them for 50 cents. Um, the eyeglasses I bought at a thrift store for a dollar. They have some rhinestones on them. Oh, and they have this cool iridescent flame design on the arm. Ooh. These sold for $26.95 free shipping. Hello, here are some of my sales from today. First up, I have a book that was sold on Half.com for $9. We found nearly a thousand books in a storage unit that we purchased. And um, so th I've listed probably about 400 of them, and I think I still have about 250 of them left. They sell for anywhere between, you know, 4 or $5 to 20 or $30. Just depends on the book. Um, this is a large Banana Republic sunglass eyeglass case and it sold for fourteen thirty five. All of my eyeglasses and cases are on sale ten percent off right now. Um because I'm just trying to get rid of some of the stuff that I've had forever. Like these I had forever. These are brindles and I thought they were so cool because they have this really neat design on the arm. And um I actually had the case first and then I found the glasses to go with them. And I had them listed for $40 for a long time and they never sold, so I lowered them down to 30. And right now they're 10% off, so they sold for 
Today we sold this Sony Sports Walkman. It's one of the yellow ones. It's in near perfect condition. Very clean. Works great. It comes with the belt clip that screws onto the back. And I found this at the thrift store for $3. And it sold today for $40 plus shipping. This is a pair of Maui Gym sunglasses, prescription glasses. Um, I just listed these tonight and they sold within about 30 minutes. Um, I listed them fairly low because they have a lot of damage, a lot of wear. It's hard to see, but they're pretty worn. And I disclosed that in the listing and I listed them for $25. Paid a dollar for the glasses and a dollar for the case. Okay, so that was our best sales of this week. It was a little bit of a slow week, but not too terrible. Um, what I have here is a large flat rate box full of eyeglasses. I just received these in the mail yesterday. Um, I haven't really had a chance to go through them. I kind of briefly looked through some of them and I saw a lot of name brands. Um, I think it'll be a really good lot. And so what I was thinking about doing was um, kind of going through this as I go through them and decide what to list and what not to list and just kind of sh put together a video of what to look for when you're looking for eyeglasses to sell and the things that you should probably avoid. And so um, look forward to that if you're interested in learning more about eyeglasses. And thanks for watching.